Ask the alligator. His blood helped. I mean the elf. The stat became something like himself again. You've been a very naughty little girl. I mean, she's wild. <laughs> Never could fight. Damn. Damn, what's that? Damn. He got double murdered by his husband and his daughter. Damn. Lisette, you down bad, bruh. See, y'all out here destroying entire neighborhoods because y'all want to have family drama. Lisette, you on the ceiling, sweetie. And did y'all plan like ahead to get on a boat? Where are your coffins? How are you going to get away from the sun? Though the ship was blessedly free of rats, a strange plague nonetheless struck its passengers. Claudia and I alone seemed immune. We searched village after village, country after country, and always we found nothing. I began to believe we were the only ones. Paris, September 1870, the city I had always dreamed of. A universe whole and entire unto herself. <laughs> but little Claudia be stunning. She got that from Lissat. Damn, they really out here just living their best life without Lestat. The divorce era. So it was, when I'd given up the search for vampires, that a vampire found me. See, no new friends. I'm leery of all strangers. No, this is too weird. This is too weird. And what are you smiling at? This is the type of stuff that haunts my nightmares. What? A bump in the night? I'm not worried about that. But if I came out my room and saw a man dancing on my ceiling? I can't explain that. I have to go. Nah, this ain't... What the... Santiago. I've searched the world for an immortal, and this is what I find. Antonio Banderas, hi sir, you're very attractive and I love you, just off jump. Bring the petite beauty with you. No one will harm you, I won't allow it. Remember my name. Armand. I have very mixed emotions about this character. Hey, Armand, my new friend, uh, we gotta get Santiago out here because he's wowing and I don't trust it. I don't like that. <laughs> he's very creepy in like an aggressive way. Until they find themselves within my reach. <laughs> vampires who pretend to be humans pretending to be vampires. Uh, avant-garde. Methinks a mortal doth approach. No. What have we here? What beauty by my side. So dramatic. As this flesh is pink now, so it will turn gray and wrinkle with age. <laughs> Let me leave, I don't care. Then why should you care if you die now? See, I knew Santiago was off his doggone rocker. Mm -mm. Oh my god, I love him. <laughs> What is going on? This movie took a love turn, and I don't. I'm, I'm here for it, but I'm very confused. See, why is Armand so captivating? is showing as he makes eye contact with Louis please we live beneath 
Let me show you. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is so weird. Welcome to my home. Try him. You know what? I'm a vegetarian, so I'm good. But thank you so much for your hospitality. Even though if I, I feel like if I did say no, you'd probably just kill me. <laughs> but, mm, it's so good. Thank you. <laughs> Two vampires chilling. from the new world. You're the leader of this, this group. <laughs> if there were a leader, I would do one. So you have the answer. So you have questions. Mm. What are we? Nothing. If not vampires. I mean, that was more of a straight answer than I ever got from Lestad. Surely you know the one who made you. Yes, but the one who made him. The source. All this... evil. Your sympathy for that girl. You die when you kill. You feel you deserve to die and you stand on nothing. You better read him, Armand. It does that make you evil? Then there is nothing. God does not exist. I know nothing of God or the devil. I have never seen a vision nor learned a secret that would damn or save my soul. And as far as I know, after 400 years, I am the oldest living vampire in the world. The one who left the old world for the new. The one who made us knew nothing, nor did he care. New? I'm beloved. It's time we were on our way. I'm hungry. The city away. Claudia had her foresight. She was like, uh, we should get the F up out of here, buddy. I have wronged Lestat. I have hated him for the wrong reasons. How did he wrong him? Yeah. He said a name. Get out of my head! There is but one crime among us vampires here. It's the crime that means death to any vampire. Kill your own kind. You would leave me for a mod if you beckoned you. I mean, wow. <laughs> Claudia is calling it as it is. He's been waiting for you. He wants you as a companion. Everybody loves Louie. Do you know what his soul said to me? Without saying a word, let him go. Is that what I should do, Louis? Let you go. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Wait, everything just got a little bit more complicated. It'll be all right. He don't know, Claudia. Louis never knows. He just really is just surfing from situation to situation. Claudia is very dear to me. She's my daughter. I mean, in my every daughter. way. Oh, my beloved. My child. No. You say so. You are innocent. She's in danger, isn't she? I mean, absolutely. This is a bad idea. Her silence. Her youth. It's forbidden to make one so young. So helpless. That cannot survive on its own. Then blame the one who made her. Did you kill this vampire who made you both? Is that why you won't say his name? Santiago thinks you did. We want no quarrel with him. No, no, he's already begun. Because Santiago is a problem. If you want to save her, send her away. Without any of those answers you so longed for. You said there were none. But you asked the wrong hey. questions. The world changes. We do not. Yeah. But the vampires in the theater. Decadent. Useless. Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you reflect its broken heart. I can't ship Louis and Armand. This can't happen. You are beautiful, my friend. Lestat. Must have wept when he made you. 
needless stat. You needless stat. It was easy to get you to spill the beans. <laughs> Tell Louie that he's very pretty and beautiful, and he's like, okay, what secrets do you want to know? I knew knowledge would never be withheld by Armand. Mm, did you know that? It would pass through him as through a pane of glass. You don't know this man, Louie. <laughs> you lived with Lestat for decades and barely knew him. You just met Armand, and you're already falling. Like Claudia said you would, which is very sad. Drink. <laughs> do it, Louie! Because I cannot do it. I haven't the strength. You saw to that when you made me. You haven't the vaguest conception under God what you ask. I found your new companion, Louie. You will make me mine. And I shall suffer for it no longer. Don't make me do this. I cannot! You give her to me, Louie! Do this before you leave me! I'm <laughs> I love you still. Ah, oh, the manipulation and the emotional turmoil. <laughs> Every time Louis gets a new man, things just hit the fan. A child who cannot die. A child who did die. My daughter. <sighs> we are now even. What do you mean? Hey. What died in that room was not that woman. What has died is the, the last breath of me. That was human. It's time for justice, little one. What, what is going on? Y'all, this is not one of your plays. Can y'all get out of here? Get me Armand. He wouldn't stand for this. Death for the others. For you. Eternity in a box. <laughs> <laughs> World in a dungeon. For what? Y'all are just bored? Come up with a new storyline for one of your plays and go on about your business. Always mess with people. See? <laughs> we gotta kill all these people. What is going on? <laughs> So you're just letting this happen. Why is he letting it happen? I can't do this. Ah, in <laughs> Y'all gonna have my girl Claudia go out like this. <laughs> Can y'all like duck inside the larger fabric of the dress? Damn. My girl Claudia was a menace, but she didn't deserve this. Damn. Oh, now you're here, Armand. Where were you before? Playing games? I pissed. I'm angry. <laughs> Claudia, Claudia, I cannot help her. Where's Claudia? I can't save her! Claudia! Did he ever have- And then these bitches are just gonna line the hallways and snicker and sneer. I can't. Damn. It's over for all you bitches. Get them up out of here. What we gotta do to take them all out? Cause whatever it is, we just gonna have to do it. And especially Santiago's ass. I never liked you. I didn't like you. When you did your little one-two step up the wall with your top hat, I don't like you. Let's go. Let's go. Louis is known for burning things down. And you know what? I'm with him. Christmas. Let's go, Louie. You and your scythe. Get his ass on a personal level. Sweetie, whatever you do, rock his world, please. This asshole. Make his death slow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, uh, that was 
satisfying. Louis! Armand, I've never been so happy to see you. Come on, let's get out of here, because this is a mess. And who is this little boy? You didn't even warn them, did you? No. And you knew what I would do? I knew. I rescued you, didn't I? Mm. From the terrible dawn. You made me see their failings, Louis. And they had forgotten the first lesson. That we must be powerful and without regret. How was that the first lesson? And you can teach me this? Yeah. No. <laughs> regret is Louis' best friend. What if all I have is my suffering? I regret. <sighs> Louis. Don't you want to lose it? So you can have that too. The heart that mourns her. Her that you burnt to a cinder. Louis, I swear I did. Ah, but I know you did. I mean, yeah, 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 he did. I know. If that's all I have left to learn, I can do that on my own. I love Louis with the backbone. Who is that? No. And as much as your invitation might appeal to me, I must regretfully decline. Yes, give me strong, independent Louis. That's what I need more of in my life, for me and him. In the spring of 1988, I returned to New Orleans. I'm so glad you were here. I've dreamed. Lissette, you crazy bitch. I love you. <laughs> He's still here. He's just around. Still. Beautiful, Louis. You always were the strong one. No, Lisette has PTSD. Y'all slit his throat, put him in a swamp, set him on fire. He's traumatized. <laughs> You've come home to me then? You remember how I was? You were a mess. No one could refuse me. Not even you, Louis. I tried. I mean... Yes, you tried. It's just in Louis' nature. And the more you tried, <laughs> the more I wanted you. I mean, that is also true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a real question. Is Lucette in game? Louis, did you finally get the strength to walk away? Oh, don't make me proud of you at the end. Whatever happened to Lucette, I do not know. But all my passion went with her golden hair. No. That's it? No cannon like that. Daniel, come on. What people wouldn't give to be like, what I wouldn't give to be like you, to have your power to be able to have seen the things that you've seen in your life. Daniel, did you not listen to the story at all? The story was horrible. There's only one way I'll ever truly learn, and you know it. Now, you brought me up here for a reason, didn't you? <sighs> to be young and dumb. You want to link to the outside world? Well, that's me. I mean, take me. That's what I want. I want what you have. I refuse to let it end like this. Dear God, I failed again. I haven't, I haven't failed. <laughs> God has nothing to do with it. <laughs> you like this? Do you like dying? Stop. <laughs> Daniel also has just bad timing. <laughs> it's good stuff. I would have been happy to join them. Good stuff. <laughs> Damn, Lestat, always. <laughs> Why did I ever doubt you? You were always around. I feel better already. I bet you do. Because you're wild. Most of all, I longed for death. I invited it. A release from the pain of living. Oh. But he's still fancy. I love him. <laughs> I'm going to give you the choice I never had. Lissette is still out here just effing up stuff. And you know what? Go off. 
Alright, and that concludes the 1994 movie. And much like the show, I had a great time. I don't know why, but I love these characters. I mean, Louie, my forever sad boy, who's only should be ever in a relationship with therapy. And my favorite Louie is Louie that's like burning down stuff. Louie set like three or four fires throughout this entire movie. <laughs> Claudia, my murderous little child. Oh, she was too smart for her own good, and she didn't deserve to go out the way that she did. Armand, I'm still looking at you sideways for that, because Claudia is my girl, and much like Louie, I don't think I could just get over you burning my kid like that. What are you doing? I don't know. I find Armand very interesting. I need to get his backstory. Daniel, to be young and dumb, he listened to Louie's entire story that was just a horror, and was like, yeah, mm -hmm, I'm in, I'm down, fight me now. Self-preservation. It's in short supply. Nobody has a lot of it. Uh, the Mayfair Witches comes out in January. I will be reacting to that. And thank you so much for being on this ride with me. And on your way out, if you could do me a quick favor, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for post notifications. Follow me on all my social media. That way I can see you next time with another one. Bye, y'all.